Spinach isn't just a superfood, it can also be a super detector. Researchers have engineered spinach that can detect when an explosive is nearby and even alert someone by email. All thanks to carbon nanotubes. Here to explain it all is Dr. Juan Pablo Geraldo, assistant professor of plant physiology at the University of California, Riverside. He was one of the individuals involved in this research. Uh, so let me ask you uh, first, sir, can you break this down for us in layman's terms? How did researchers get spinach to detect explosives? Hi, uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, we uh, demonstrated that we can use very tiny, tiny particles that we can put into the leaves of a spinach plants to make them detect explosives. And these nanoparticles that we call, these tiny par particles that we call nanoparticles can transmit light that your uh, cell phone camera will be able to d detect uh, just uh, as simple as that. And why use a plant? That's so interesting. Some people would say, you know, when we think traditionally of explosive detecting uh, technology, we think, of course, of bomb sniffing dogs, but why a plant? Well, plants have unique capabilities uh, that um, uh, machines do not have. Like, for example, they are powered by solar energy. They are constantly sampling the environment. Uh, via, they, they take up uh, groundwater through their roots. And they also take up uh, uh, like gases from the atmosphere through their leaves. So, so they, they are basically uh, uh, a technology that we have not uh, seen before as, as, as such. And, and by embedding the nanoparticles in them, we are allowing them for the first time to communicate with uh, humans through portable devices uh, what they are experiencing in the environment. Wow, that is so fascinating. Could this same technique be used on other plants? Why did you choose spinach? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, actually, we chose a spinach because uh, it is a plant that, that has not typically been used uh, for uh, as a genetic uh, engineering uh, system. The, our approach is a different approach. We call it a plant uh, nanobionic approach in which uh, we can basically use any type of plant in the environment. Any, any wild plant could be potentially infiltrated with these nanoparticles through the leaves, making it uh, an explosive detection plant or uh, a detection plant for other chemicals in the environment. What kind of chemicals, Juan Pablo? What other compounds can the plants be tailored to detect? Well, we envision that this technology could be taken to uh, different uh, sectors like agriculture or the defense industry. You can envision uh, plants acting as sentinels uh, in the middle of a crop field, detecting uh, nutrient deficiencies or uh, early infections of pests and reporting that to the farmers uh, via uh, like uh, infrared communications to electronic devices so the farmers can uh, react before actually start seeing uh, uh, the damaging effects on their crops. You, you can also think about uh, extending this technology not, not just to explosives but perhaps to chemical weapons and uh, if you think about a, a plant uh, it's, a, it's a perfect uh, camouflage sensor. Nobody would expect that if the, the plant will be detecting uh, a dangerous chemical uh, in your airport or a high security facility. Yeah, absolutely. It is just so interesting to think about. Essentially, a plant army almost, I guess. <laughs> Dr. Juan Pablo Geraldo, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me.